Well, if you're anything like us, your car is your pride and joy, so it stands to reason that you'll want to keep it clean. Washing your car properly is one of the best ways to maintain its appearance and protect your resale value, so you'll get top dollar come trading time. But with so many cleaning products on the market and so much conflicting advice out there, we've asked professional detailer Steve Woolmer to run us through the basics of a safe and thorough top to tail wash. First thing that we're going to use is a wheel woolly. And these have been designed so that you can clean the wheels of the car and there's different size wheel woolies and the idea of these is to be able to get right into the back of the wheel to be able to clean it effectively without actually damaging the wheel. After preparing the required equipment, soap and water, Steve starts by thoroughly rinsing and washing the wheels. This process ensures none of the brake dust or contaminants from the wheel end up back on your paint. This step is followed up with a foaming detergent applied to the whole car that breaks down any road grime, brake dust and other contaminants. Steve uses a foam cannon connected to a pressure washer to do the job, but for home use, an atomizer filled with soapy water can achieve the same result. Once that's done, it's time to rinse the whole car thoroughly. Steve starts by rinsing the car from top to bottom, the rinsing process ensuring heavy grit and potential abrasives are removed from the paint surface before touching the painted surfaces with your cleaning cloth. Now we're going to move on to the two bucket wash method. With the two bucket method, you have one bucket of clean rinse water and one bucket of your favourite car wash mixed with water for the actual wash part. The whole idea of the two bucket wash is that every time you wash part of a panel or a whole panel, you then rinse the mitt, get the dirt off the mitt into the rinse bucket so that it doesn't contaminate the clean wash water for you to do your next part of the wash and potentially damage your car. Starting with the roof, Steve works his way around the car being careful not to overrub any particular section. This can lead to rub marks on your paint. The microfiber cloth is rinsed regularly in the rinse bucket before fresh soap is applied to clean the next section or panel. Once you've washed the car with your car wash, it's really important to then rinse the car down to remove all the remnants of the wash from the car. Some car washes are alkaline, meaning that they can damage the paint if they're left on there for too long and a lot of car washes also contain salt. Again, not something that you really want left on the paint of your car. So let's rinse it. Once you've done washing the car, it's time to dry any water away that may leave spots on your paint and glass. It's recommended a product like Bowden's own Afterglow is used in conjunction with your auto towel to achieve a lasting shine. Starting with the glass, use a good quality auto towel to sweep the water away. Squeeze the towel regularly to make sure you're not reintroducing any water to parts of your car you've already dried. And don't forget to wipe inside the edges of the panels, including under the bonnet, inside the boot and inside your door jams. We also recommend vacuuming and cleaning the interior, especially the glass, once you've done with the outside. But I'm sure you'll agree, the difference after this little bit of effort is really worth the job. Steve, thanks for your time, mate. Not a problem. Cheers.